Welcome back, Scrappers. YouTube. Got another uh, little furnace here. Yeah. Strip it down, get the goodies out, which mainly, for the most part, just uh, copper wire and. Uh, Pretty much copper wire, then we got the squirrel cage fan. This one might be a little more of a challenge getting that squirrel cage fan out. A lot of these are kind of difficult. It's kind of a short little unit, so I put it up on milk crates so I wouldn't have to bend over quite as much. Trusty wire cutters. I think the summer months are the best months for scrappers because uh, that's when a lot of people do their clean a lot of stuff out of the yards and sheds, attics. So it's usually when you find all your goodies on the side of the street for the for those that street scrap. Wintertime people don't want to get out of the house, it's too cold. Or, People down in like Florida, they probably do good year round. Got nice weather pretty much year round. A lot of the Midwest and northern states, it gets pretty cold. Probably kind of hard to street scrap. You got three feet of snow. Flip that thing over where I can see. The wire nuts galore in there. Man, it's stuck. Went by Harbor Freight. I take my wife down to Atwood to get some flea shampoo and stuff for the dog, so I went by Harbor Freight. And if you got the Harbor Freight app, they got these uh, little four inch magnetic dish for like 63 cents, limited three. But then they also have a coupon in there for 99 cents a piece and they didn't have a limit on them. So I just grabbed three for now. They always come in handy. A lot of times I'll strip something down and Put the screws in them and then I just hang on to them for a while. Eventually throw them away or find something to put them into. And so I'll just snip the wires. I don't know if that's just, looks like a transformer or, well, but looking at that, let's say we got a squirrel cage fan right here. and two six inch magnetic trays. Need to clean all those up and out one of these days.
Yeah, it takes a little while to snip all these wires out of here. And that wire adds up. I don't know. Yeah, I'm curious, I'll have to write down and make a note of how many pounds I get in that. What I'm doing, I'm throwing all the power cords into one barrel. And then all this like wiring harness stuff out of washers, dryers, stuff like that. I try to throw it into another barrel. And then you get this real little, real little stuff. That's solid core. I, could probably, I might even be able to strip that. I don't know if it's worth it. The time it takes. Probably just going to low grade. I got a barrel out there for low grade wire, so. And that right there. Where do those wires go? Okay, I got a little transformer over here. Not exactly sure how I'm going to get that out. Though. chips on that board. It's still a low grade board though. But they add up too. Okay, these wires go over that way. So to see how that fan is held in. slide out this way so I may have to eliminate that if I can. I go chimney. Yeah I got a couple these three four four screws holding that in. I don't know what to get what that is. That just shows a fan spinning or something. Something like that. Okay. I'll proceed to
dismantling here. Here we go. Little chimney pipe. Never know when you're going to need one of those, right? Okay, now I can get to this transformer here. Snip the wires. So I get to pull the pull that right out of there. Oh, let's see, I'm going to have to get in there and pry. Most of the way, that worked out pretty good. I've been wondering, is it going to work or not? So you can look and see the size of the motor we have here. Pretty good size motor. Got to be some good copper in that. Yeah, while I was down there at Harbor Freight, I looked at that. Uh, Did anyway. Looked at that bandsaw, and looks like I can go up to almost a six-inch statter on it. Not quite, but almost. Okay. When all else fails, hammer and chisel time, right? Doesn't want to go through. Doesn't want to go through, force it through. Maybe I can pull it up. Drive it through. The method doesn't matter, it's the results that count. Right? I'm not sure what I got under there. short wire there and the furnace itself is on top of the power cord so I'll retrieve that when I haul the furnace out of here or the housing, furnace case housing whatever you want to call it okay that's a little bit rusty Sometimes these things don't want to come out of there too good because they've been out in the weather. This one's been out here in the weather for, oh shoot, two, three months at least probably now. Getting rained on and getting rusty. Now, uh, the square nuts on these. Turn it with the three eighths open end. One thing here, if I could get that and push it this way, you know, this side on here really got nowhere to go. So a lot of times, what I'll do, I'll take my air chisel and I cut around here, cut me a big opening, which. Uh, by looking at this, so I've got that loose. I put stuff on there. I may see if I can get this out. I'll look at the timer. If it takes too long, I'll 
Well, you know, I think I'll save that for another video. I've got two of these to do. So, uh... I'll just set that right there for the time being. So, we've got, got the squirrel cage fan out. all the weights down here at the bottom. see me. <coughs> okay, I'm going to see if I can get to these stairs here and get this other fan off of here. It's only got a little copper in it, but so if it's too much trouble, that around, but that doesn't really help much. Yeah, got it though, didn't I? Yeah, I like it. Now, I'll tell you June, but it's not June. One thing I noticed on these things, Got a little vacuum tube here, so apparently the fan creates a vacuum. Yeah, that goes on the end of the motor. Spin that. Span fins. Okay. Anyway, we got a little bit of copper right here. So you got a little copper right there on it. Not a whole lot, but put that right there for now. I guess while we're in Chickasha, my wife talked to my daughter and she said it was raining here. Can't tell it, but it does seem like it's cooled off some. All right, so for the most part, this is scrapped out. We get this controller off of here. Get that aluminum off of there. that down but well, that's about it for that furnace so now I can just stand it back on end haul it out of here get it out of the way so hope you enjoyed the video and hope I earned your subscription trying to make it as simple as possible which you saw what tools I used uh, you can use a ratchet ratchet and socket if you don't have the uh, cord the screwdriver or you can use a corded screwdriver 
if you have to. Like I said, this is more of a hobby for me, so make some money than have an excuse to buy more tools. Of course, my shop, I got so much stuff in here now, I gotta move some stuff out, bring, make room for more tools. Okay, I'm gonna get off of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, uh, welcome you to come back and oh, welcome you to subscribe and see more of the upcoming videos. I hope the time goes on, I get better at doing videos and give more useful information, not just babbling. But I'm an old man, so I'm supposed to tell stories, I guess. That's another thing I save a lot sometimes. Uh, these little connectors here that clamp down. Time to time I need them for a project. Because I like to take some of the scrap I get and, and try to make things out of it. Pressure's kicking in, so I'm going to get off of here and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.